Hi everyone, I'm Nazmin Hassan and today I'm going to show you how to find out the Fmax of a transistor. Fmax is a figure of merit of a transistor because at this frequency the power gain of a transistor reduces to 0 dB. So that means after this frequency we cannot have any gain from that transistor. So let's go to Caton's virtues uh, to see how to find out the Fmax of a transistor. This is a 32 nanometer CMOS MOSFET. You might have your own PDK transistor. Whatever is your technology node, I mean 65, 45 or 32 nanometer, you can use same method to find out the Fmax. So place your PDK transistor in the schematic window. We will use this parameter engine to in order to find out Fmax of this transistor. At first, let's put some DC power supply. Go to create instance and type analog leaf for analog library. And cell name is VDC. This DC supply is VDD. So write VDD here and place it on the schematic window. We need another DC supply which is VGS and finally we need a reference zero voltage which will be essentially grounded. So now type GND for ground terminal. and connect it here. All right, now we need input and output port for S-parameter simulation. So again, go to create an instance and type port. And make sure the port resistance is 50 ohms. This is the input port and this is our output port. All right, now we need a gate resistor to provide the gate bias. So type RES for resistor and it should be high. 5K is enough. All right, now we need DC block capacitors for input and output port. Type CAP for capacitor and it should be high enough to allow AC signals to pass. Now, we need an RF choke to block RF signal at the drain line. And it should be high enough to block RF signal. Okay. Now we need to rotate this cap for better placement. Select rotate and then rotate left. And do the same thing for this cap. All right. There we go. Now we need to connect these elements with where So let's click on this tool and let's connect each element. This is the gate of the MOSFET. This is our input port. And it should be the gate bias terminal. And this is the source terminal of MOSFET. This one is body terminal, which should be tied to the source. And source will be grounded. Okay. And this is our output port. This is the drain terminal. Okay.
I'm extending these wires in order to label them. Alright, connection has been done and now we would like to label each terminal so that a proper electrical connection can be made in this circuit. There are six VSS terminals. This one is our reference VSS, which is essentially zero volt. And this is the input port and source terminal and output port. And now we need to provide gate bias, type VGS two times. Alright, now we need to provide drain bias as well, so type VDD two times. Here is VDD and this one also. Alright, now we have finished labeling our entire circuit and a proper electrical connection has been made. Now we are ready to check and save our circuit. Click on this button. You can see a netlist has been generated for this circuit. Okay, now we are ready to simulate this circuit and find out Fmax for this MOSFET. Now go to launch and click on ADEL. Now Right-click on this empty window and select copy from cell view. It will load all the design variables. And we have VDD which should be 1 volt and VGS 500 millivolts. Now go to setup and model libraries. Since we are using PDK MOSFET, we must give PDK library path of the MOSFET. So browse to your PDK library from this button. If you do not provide this PDK library path, you will encounter error message. I have my own PDK library path and you will have yours. Alright, here I entered my PDK library path and this one is the process corner variations of MOSFET. I will select double N which stands for normal NMOS and normal PMOS. Now we will choose a simulation engine from Xpector for its parameter analysis. So go to analysis and select choose and select SP engine for S parameter analysis and select input and output ports this one and that one mm, sweep variable is frequency so let's sweep from 1 gigahertz to 400 gigahertz and we will define a linear step size of 5 gigahertz. Okay, everything looks fine. Now, let's run simulation. Go to simulation and press netlist and run. Alright, it's done because the status is ready. That means simulation is complete. Now go to results. 
and then direct plot and main form and from here select gmax there you go gmax and modifier should be db10 which is the decibel format check it and press plot so this is the gmax plot of this mosfet and you can clearly see that at 300 gigahertz maximum power gain reduces to zero decibel and beyond this frequency this transistor cannot provide any gain as you can see the gain starts to decline below 0 dB after 300 gigahertz which is the fmax of this transistor so below fmax the transistor can provide some gain so can work as a power amplifier and above fmax it can oscillate i hope you understand how to find out fmax of a transistor if you have a bi-CMOS transistor, for example, HBT transistor, which stands for heterojunction bipolar transistor, or even BJT, the process, I mean, this method will be similar. I hope you understood the process. And thanks for watching my video. If you have any question or comment, you are welcome to ask. Thanks for watching my video.